Much like its half-human, half-animal protagonists, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden is a hybrid. It cleverly cuts through some of the usual strategy game abstraction by alternating between exploring areas in real time and the tried and true tactical combat you know and love. The resulting gameplay distills the essence of turn-based strategy games that have come before into something that's tough, cerebral, and pretty damn satisfying if you're willing to learn how to play its way. Adapted from a 2014 Swedish pen and paper RPG, Mutant Year Zero puts you into an interesting, albeit cliché, post-apocalyptic world where most of humanity has died and the world has become a gigantic ruin. Despite the fact that it pulls from a world with plenty of source material, Road to Eden doesn't do much with its aesthetically interesting world. Don't misunderstand, there's plenty of world building through in-game dialogue and non-animated cutscenes and text and audio diaries strewn about the world. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. But these mostly help unravel Mutant Year Zero's backstory of how humanity destroyed itself. While interesting characters like Dux, the smart aleck half-man half-mallard, and Pharaoh, a tough half-woman half-fox with a British accent, are appealing, the story never feels vital. You spend most of Mutant Year Zero exploring the various areas of the world, figuring out how to sneak past groups of enemies or how to get the jump on them. Your three-character squad roams large swaths of old ruins, searching for a scrap to trade and keeping an eye out for anything that might want to fight. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Though it's simple and intuitive, the stealth gameplay feels far more versatile than what you'd expect from an RPG. With the push of a button, your squad can split up so you can control each character individually and put them in the best positions for an ambush. This two-stage system, real-time stealth followed by turn-based combat, makes setting up combat scenarios quick and easy. It just feels natural. Planning for a big fight starts even before you put your team into place. You're almost always outnumbered and outgunned, so figuring out how to separate and dismantle a group takes cunning. To clear out any area, you need plans on plans on plans. But you also need some luck. The moment you fire a gun, enemies within a certain range will hear you and that range is not always clear. There's a bit of guesswork involved. You develop a feel for it over time, but you're also going to do a lot of saving and reloading. When you finally pull the trigger and start a big fight, you better know how you're going to win. Like the survivalist post-apocalyptic motif, resources are scarce and life is fleeting. You need to finish fights fast, so using your weapons and abilities efficiently is important. Despite finding such a neat new way to play out turn-based battles, Mutant Year Zero's RPG systems, like experience-based leveling, seem to butt heads with the rest of its mechanics. Progression, which only exists to ration out skill points, often got in the way of learning the nuances of using a squad. In case it isn't clear, Mutant Year Zero is very hard. Even on normal, the lowest difficulty, you'll likely lose a lot. To win, you need things to go right most of the time, but they don't always. Just like in other similar games, someone on your squad might miss a high percentage shot, or an enemy will use an unforeseen ability to mess up your plans. As with most great strategy games though, winning makes you feel smart. Pulling off a plan that deconstructs all of an enemy's advantages and leads to a decisive victory feels very good. By blending real-time stealth with tried and true tactics gameplay, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden breaks exciting new ground for the turn-based strategy game. Even with some mechanics that don't mesh perfectly with the gameplay, it teases your brain in interesting and insightful ways. For more, don't forget to check out our reviews of other tactics games like XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Phantom Doctrine, and Into the Breach. And for everything else, keep it right here at IGN. Great work!